Hey, what's going on people? Southern Knights, back at you again with another video. Before you watch this one all the way through, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Links in the description box, feel free to donate. But I'm gonna get right to the point with this one. With all this stuff going on around the world, especially here in America, I wanna know when the time come to defend yourself, when the time come to um, seek survival and I'm gonna put that out there because this is not a video that promote violence this is basically a survival video so got to put it out there these days in Asia but I want to know what would be your weapon of choice some people say during the shift and I did a video speaking of a shift gun a while back but what would be your firearm or weapon of choice during these times of during these trying times and the times of survival because crime is going up that's pretty obvious and it's going up to the point to where you are gonna start knowing people that's got or have been involved in a, a situation or a certain crime that been committed is going to be a person that you know that's going to be a not to say a victim of that not knocking on wood hope that never happened to a person that you know but it's getting to the point to where this is common now so that mean it's hitting home so people are going to have to eventually defend themselves so my thing is you got to have a firearm or a particular knife or blade that you are comfortable with using. Not necessarily you feeling secure because feeling secure is a false sense of security. Meaning that just because you have a gun on you doesn't mean that you secure. You got to know how to use it when it's time to use it. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of people got to take that um, sense of security away from them and get into the notion of knowing how to use their firearm, including myself, you know, because I'm still working on my stuff, as y'all can see on my <laughs> YouTube shorts. But, <laughs> but yeah, but we, you got to know how to use your firearm. You got to get familiar with your firearm. You got to know your firearm. And the best way to do that, you got to shoot it, you got to clean it, you got to know how it functions, you got to know how much pressure it takes to basically take the magazine out, rack it back, all the stuff that, and even put it back in there and see what I like about Canics, you know, as y'all can see, it ain't nothing in there clear. What I like about Canics, you can just grab you see that clip it don't take nothing you don't got to pop it or anything like that just to go in there you could just and it's that simple and you and you back in the fight amongst other things about cannon but this is the time that we're in right now even certain um knives whether it's fishing, whether it's hunting, whether it's used for self-defense, you gotta have a knife that you are comfortable with and multiple um, knives or weapons that you are comfortable with. And this something that develop over time. So I know some people probably got a lot of um, firearms that they are comfortable with because they shoot them on a regular basis. So a lot of people um, probably in the two-way community can say, well, if this firearm get lost in a confrontation or if I run out of um, certain ammo with this firearm, I can always go to my next firearm that I'll have one already you know, in the magazine, ready to go. So, 
these times that we're in right now, best believe that's going to be on everybody's agenda. And I know it sounds like a regular conversation right now, but you know during the pandemic, the firearm sales went up, and that's a prime example. They first priority was defending themselves just in case something happened to where an intruder or anything because everybody know the crime spiked up during that time and it's still spiked up now and it's continued to spike up so that was people's first priority and it's going to be people's first priority even more and more especially you know how you for example you see you can go to walmart you know it's changing when you go in walmart and you go into the fishing or walmart got like a survivalist area now you know it's changing when that area become empty when you see the firearms become empty again when you see all of the camouflage gear becomes empty in certain aisles of the store. See, you can judge the climate uh, basically by looking at these stores and see how much stuff that's in there when it comes down to the stuff that's parallel to the times that we're in. So, for example, pandemic, no toilet paper, no sanitizer, no alcohol. You see what I'm saying? Um, during the rise of protests, no ammo. Um, during the um, economic times of crime and stuff, and the, econ and the economy basically going down, guess what? You got the uh, survival stuff is going to be empty. Knives is going to be, and you ain't going to be able to find knives after a while. So this is the times that I'm t telling you about that's slowly upon us right now because we could talk about stuff that's going on overseas right now, but we got our own problems over here and those problems is just going to make things worse over here. You know, so let's say Taiwan and China get into it and, and, and start moving furniture around. Now, <laughs> more economic uh, hardship is going to be going on over here because it's going to affect us some kind of way. Best believe it. It's going to affect us some kind of way. And if you look at the situation over there in Ukraine, that's already affecting the shipment right now. Like the wheat just now going out, you, you know, you got grain and who knows how long that going <laughs> to go. Then you have uh, Iran and Israel and they're going to be bumping heads soon. So you have a lot of situations that's going on over here, over there. That's soon going to take a toll over here, already taking a toll financially. Because majority of the people blame the gas prices on on the war over there in, in Ukraine Ukraine right now, which the gas prices, like I told y'all before, was already spiking up prior to that. But at the same time, it's it, it's starting to be connected now because if that war continue on over there, that means relations is going to be depleted and a lot of people is going to be at odds with each other and that way trade is going to be limited you know so I just wanted to bring that to y'all attention and survival is going to be the first priority you're going to see a lot of groups that used to didn't want to come together come together as you always see <laughs> when people get scared, you're gonna see a lot of this stuff take place. You know, because I can look at people, I, I stare at people and see the fear in their eyes 
when you, you know how you just ride by people and you just see them at the stoplight and you can just see people that got that blank stare uh, almost like that worry look on their face I, I see that a lot now and I can sense it you know so to be not only secure but ready when those times come you're gonna have to have a certain amount of protection to protect you, protect your family, and etc. And the best way to feel comfortable in doing that is basically finding a firearm or a knife or something that you are familiar with that I have the scimitar. So you have to be familiar with that. And eventually it's going to come to that point. The way, and I'm going to say medieval times, you see how everybody walk around with their swords and stuff like that. Back in the medieval times, their shields and swords and uh, whatever you call them things, they just spin around and throw at people. <laughs> but it's going to be the same way. People are going to be walking around with their firearms, AR-15. You see these movies where people walking around with their um, uh, firearms and stuff because that's the gun that they chose to rock out with when times got rough. That's their go-to weapon. Like some people got a go-to weapon. Like you have some people uh, that's got other channels. They'll probably say, well, which one you will go with, the AR-15 or the AK-47? Some people go with an uh, AR-15, some people go with an AK-47 for various reasons. But that's because people feel comfortable and knowing that their weapon is reliable to them because that's the weapon that they identify with prior to the hardship. You know, me personally, I know I said I was gonna go with a Glock during the shift but I have a change of heart. I might have a change of heart again about the cannon, but I don't think so. But this is probably would be my go-to gun. It probably don't be this cannon. It might be a different cannon, <laughs> but I know for a fact that cannon is good with me as far as hand size, as far as accuracy as far as taking it apart real quick and cleaning it up. As far as, like I said, taking it out, reloading it, put it back in. Like, look how simple, you see what I'm saying? Like with the cannon, you clear it, is that, is that easy? You know, so if you're in a situation to where you had to clean your firearm out, then guess what? This how easy that you can disassemble the cannon. And then after you clean it, sometimes like, cause you, if you're in a situation, you might not have time to sit down and clean and break down and just listen to your favorite music or TV show and clean your guns. You might be in a situation that might, you might have to spread it down real quick, clean it and put it back together because you never know, you don't want to get caught slipping. So now you can take this Put it back in. Now, it's that simple. So, the and that's why I think I would choose the cannon over anything. So, so all the thing you got to do, pull the trigger back, and there you go. You see what I'm saying? This how. See back in. Glocks, you might have a hard time. <laughs> you probably gonna have a hard time doing that with a Glock. You know, like once again, boom. Take it off. See, that quick. Put it back together. Bam. Bam, back in. Cop back, ready to go. 
it, it's that simple. So, as y'all can see how reliable that these cannons is, to me, it might be some, some probably choose different, but to me, hand size, grip, disassemble, everything that I can name will make me comfortable in a situation just in case something pop off. And I'm gonna tell y'all something else. I have more magazines with the Glock than I do the Canon, believe it or not. But I'm still more comfortable coming out with less magazines with the Canon than I do the Glock. Even though I'm pretty comfortable with the Glock too, but I'm just making the comparison. Like I can use the Glock for concealment. It, you know, if you got the uh, work a certain job, doing security, bouncer, see Glock is good for concealment and it got a nice decent uh, capacity when it comes down to the magazine. Uh, 15 rounds and some of you get 17 rounds even though if you could conceal 17 rounds that probably be more reliable during the winter months because you got a coat so you might can conceal 17 rounds in the Glock 19 but it's going to be sticking out just a tad a little bit just a tad bit but that's what it is that I mean I guess that's all I got for this video. I just wanted to know. Y'all can um, give your opinion in the comment section and let me know when the time come, um, which Glock, well, not on um, which firearm you're gonna use or during the shift or during the time, these trying times. Or which weapon you're gonna go with or you got a EDC, or you can probably use your EDC everyday carry. Cause most likely the weapon that you are uh, using is probably gonna be your everyday carry anyway. Because that's the one you probably most comfortable with. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, maybe I don't answer y'all question, you know? And, and that do make sense. Your everyday carry, something go down, EMP strike, you might be in your car. You might be five miles from, from your house, 10 miles. And I don't think it's going to be chaotic the next few minutes, though. But you'll still have time to probably walk home during that time. But if you walk home at nighttime, the first... Um, five to ten hours you probably ain't gonna have to worry about nobody going crazy or nothing like that if anything you're gonna have to worry about the wild animals that you're gonna have to come across wild walker homes so handgun hand probably would be more sufficient but if you're in the um, south like me you might have to have a probably an AR pistol just in case you were kind of you know, bears or something like that, coyotes or whatever the case may be. But that's pretty much it. However, I'm gonna title this video, I don't know, but it's just a conversation. I, I'll think of something. But, <laughs> but with that said, if y'all like the content, um, like, subscribe to the channel. All the links will be in the description box. So like I said, if you wanna support the channel, Give a donation, highly appreciate it. If not, you can subscribe to the channel or hit the like button or give, you know, your commentary in the um, comment section. With that said, Southern Night out. Peace. <laughs>